In this video, I'm going to show you uh, what is a forward request and what is a re redirect request. And uh, I think uh, if you have some experience uh, in web application development, you should uh, probably already uh, know these things. So just a review on this uh, concept. Uh, in Java, um, we normally using the servlets, right? So suppose in our servlet, we have a, a public class and uh, then let's write a servlet. How about just a call hello servlet? And then you have to extend HTTP servlet, right? And suppose in my uh, public void do get method and in the do get you will have a request and a response. Suppose you're using request dot get dispatcher get not a dispatcher sorry, get a request dispatcher. If I remember correctly. Then here you have to give the URL what you want to this one to forward. Forward request response, okay? And here you give the URL, it can be certain like uh, hello.jsp, okay? It can be another request URL like to go to slash servlate a. Okay, um, so what's going to happen if I do like this? Here you have our browser, okay, and you have a browser, and you make a request to the hello servlet. And this is our server. In the server, which is in Tomcat, and you are initialize uh, servlet hello servlet for you okay this is a hello servlet and uh, for gsp gsp is also a servlet okay hello dot gsp this is also a servlet so what's gonna happen when using forward when you make a request from browser to the server side which is tomcat okay tomcat the request will be handled by hello servlet and the hello servlet will forward the request to hello.gsp and then it is gonna return back to the client so in this case if here i have a request dot set attribute set attribute okay suppose here i call channel okay and the name is xring you put in the request scope and when you forward when you forward when you forward here is a forward okay when you forward this request object and this response object also will be available inside this hello.gsp so in the hello.gsp you can retrieve the channel and you can get the value xing this is called a forward now let me using uh, another scenario which is the what's the thing redirect so now i change the, the i change this piece of code to be this one okay uh, using request dot set attribute. Uh, suppose I call name is a key value is Tina. Okay, and then I using request dot. Oh, sorry, not I cannot do using request. You have to using response dot send redirect. Okay, and here I using hello dot gsp. In this case, what's gonna happen? 
In this case, you make a request from browser to Hello Servlet. Okay, and uh, this one will have a request object and a response object. And uh, you put this attribute in this request, okay? Now, when you said send redirect, this is gonna happen is it will send the response back to the browser and with the code status code is 303 or 304 i couldn't remember which means temporary redirect okay and then browser the browser will make another request to hello.jsp this is a new request go to hello.jsp and then it will goes back this is a redirect and as you can see here when using redirect you made two requests actually the browser so when you set the attribute in this request it's not gonna be in this request scope because every request come from browser it will consider as a new request which means the request object the response object in the new request are gonna be the fresh ones so this name attribute you cannot retrieve in the hello.gsp so this is a forward redirect happens inside the http server api and if in spring in spring mvc okay let's review a little bit uh, let's introduce a little bit okay class and uh, let's go hello controller okay this is this part is a spring mvc and you annotate with the controller and here we have a public string uh, method which is a get a i'm lazy to provide another name suppose this one is a get mapping and then here is a slash a sorry for this and here we have another one get mapping it's a slash b and uh, if you want using a forward and the syntax is like this return and uh, forward you're using the key uh, keywords forward and the colon slash b then it's gonna forward to uh sorry the, uh, this one this one should have a method here sorry for this 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 one should be a method okay public string get b okay then let me uh, brush to remove this thing very good and then I have your um, brush and make it large screen okay so when using forward here forward it's gonna forward to the b and uh, the forward happens on the server side which is e exactly like this forward okay and if you want to use a redirect which is like a, this way send a redirect then using redirect colon slash b and this gonna be the same as uh, this one okay so uh, next video i'm gonna start introduce uh, request scope attribute because uh, i want to show you the forward so in this video i just had a review on forward and redirect and if you have any question you can comment below and uh, i will try my best to answer your question thank you for watching this video if you like it please give me a like and uh, also if you can you can subscribe my channel Thank you for watching. See you next time.